Lovertown boss Neil Fenn joins me here at Eamon Decent Park. Lovertown have gone down 2 1 on the road to Galway United. Neil, disappointing result and performance tonight? Yeah, very disappointing. Um, probably did deserve to go in leading at the break. Um, for the first, maybe, first 20 minutes we did okay. We moved the ball quite well, kept possession well. Um, obviously, we're 1 1. Defensive mix up, they kind of got back into it a little bit in the, the second half of the, the first half. Um, and then in the second half, we just didn't deal with They come at us, we kept losing the ball, and ultimately give, it, give the ball away too much and, and got punished for it. The first half, it was quite an even game. Um, obviously, you mentioned it was a defensive calamity, you were in for the open goal, but I suppose you have to give credit to Dean Byrne for making up that ground and, and forcing the mistake. And, some people would say Lanford probably did deserve just maybe on the balance to be ahead, but the second half really just didn't come out at all, really. No, they, I agree, you know, the first half probably uh, we did okay. Not great, but okay. Um, in the second half, they come out of fire. And, you know, we always got to realise that when you're top of the you're there to be shot at. Um, and it's not easy. And people are going to pressure. If you, if you can kind of had a lot of possession in the first half, then team talk in the other, in the opposition, um, change room is going to be let's go and press them. Boys have got to realise that they can't keep playing, they can't keep losing the ball, giving away bad possession. It happened last week against Cabo, we gave the ball around halfway. Long. It's happened tonight twice, giving the ball away in bad areas, and we got punished for them. Yeah, it's probably a good point you make there about being top of the league, and obviously the teams then it's it's a big game for them, especially with all the due respect to Galway, that they haven't had a great season, they're quite low down on the table at the moment. You can see what it meant to them to, to win that game later on. So again, maybe is it the thing with mentality or players just have to when they're up against it like that, they've had the lead, they go on one, that they just maybe have to dig in for 10 or 15 minutes trying to steady the ship, as you say, keep the ball and not give it away and play from there. I think so, but, you know, <laughs> telling someone not to give the ball away and then not giving the ball away are two different things. We told them at half time, don't give the ball away. They're gonna, if you keep giving the ball away, which we did a little bit in the first half, you'll get caught in a break. Um, you know, I don't know how many times I've got to tell them, I tell them it all the time. And, you know, we can, we can say it till we're blue in the face, but. We need to stop being poor. Mm. And wasn't disappointing as well. We all know what Billy Faraday can do. And two goals he scored, I'd probably describe them as trademark Billy Faraday finishes. He was given a lot of space in the area, wasn't he? Yeah, I think, you know, the, when, when, you're, when you're kind of on the attack and you do lose the ball in transition, you are going to be, you, your defence is going to be a little bit wide open. But that's the way we play. We, want, we kind of trust in the boys, the, uh, the midfielders and the forwards. We trust in them that they can take the ball under pressure and in deep in possession. Otherwise, you know, I said to him in there, if you want to go back, we we'll just play two banks of four, hit it long, and just support them. Do that. That's what they feel more comfortable doing. But, you know, I don't want to play like that. I know that they don't want to play like that, but we've got to be better. We've got to be, we're, we're trusting them to be to be good in possession. They're in the team because they they should be good in possession. That's why they're here. And they've got to stop letting themselves down. It's two defeats on the bounce now, and when I was previewing the game, this game all week, the one thing I kept saying, I kept saying, was that whenever Longford had a bad result or a bad performance on the knee defend, there's always been a bounce back. Just didn't get that tonight. Why do you think that was? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's. Um, it, I wouldn't say it was. You know. We kind of. We just. It looked to me exactly the same kind of games last week. Mm -hmm. You know. We just. We just. We're making our own mistakes. We're putting ourselves in trouble. Um, you know, training is, is, is the same as what it's always been. We're, there's, there's no difference there. We're doing things the same. We're preparing the same, same pre-match, same everything else. So I don't know. It must just be a mentality thing. We're, maybe we're, we're smelling ourselves a little bit because we were top. I, I promise I will move on to more positive stuff in a moment. We'll just a final point on the nice game. Set pieces and crosses is something your team has struggled with the last couple of weeks. Start of the season, we've seen so many assists coming from the likes of Shane Edworthy. And the last couple of weeks, that final ball has just been lacking again. What do you think the reason is behind that? Well, you know, you've said it, it the video's there for the lads to watch. Um, I've said it to them, if you, if you can't put the ball in the box, we'll get someone else to do it. Mm -hmm. If you can't get on the end of the ball in the box, then we'll get someone else to do it. The lads are, in, are not in the team when they come and play, they've got, they've got to do it. Um, you can practice it all you want, you can do whatever you want, you can, you can train all you want for it. If they don't, if it comes to a match and they, and they, and they, they can't do it, or they, or they don't have the desire to do it, then they're probably in the wrong place. I suppose there's no better game now for the team to try and bounce back and get themselves going again and really focus now all week. It's the Derby coming up against Athlone. A huge game, big, big chance to bounce back. Now. Yeah, it's a big chance for them, but this was a big chance to bounce back. It was, it was a chance for some of the lads who haven't been playing or, 
or whatever to show us what they've got. It was a chance to, to come to Galway on a good pitch and a good crowd against a team that you would expect us to beat because they're near the bottom and they didn't do it. So, you know, as much as we can say it's a big game, it's a derby next week, let's get ourselves up for it. You know, it's all talk at the moment. Um, unless they start producing it, then it's just going to, that's what it's going to be all talk. I'm not sure if you've seen the results tonight, but that loan took a, took a very, very heavy beat tonight. So again, they're probably coming into that game as well. They open the weather, let's say, so there's a big chance again. But I don't know, we've, we've just spoken about this really is a big chance for Lombard to bounce back, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, you know, it doesn't matter what any, any results previously have been. It's how you perform one day. You know, we're in, we're in League of Ireland First Division. There's not much difference between the players and all the teams. Um, there's no superstars in the league. There's no players earning obscene amounts of money. We're all around about the same level. So it depends on whether we can play well and they can play bad or they can play well. You know, it, it all depends how it goes on the day. We can do what we can, we can set them up um, how, how we think we're going to win the game. Um, but ultimately it comes down to it comes down to how much of what they can do on the day, how they can produce, what they can produce on the day. Um, and there's a couple of weeks now in a row we haven't done it more, probably more than that. Probably been lucky a couple of times to nick a result. And then finally the team has received great support all season and again tonight even after that disappointing result, the players straight over to the fans and the fans showing their appreciation. So Two defeats, but it's been a great start to the season, offering a new record to start the season uh, with that unbeaten run. So I'm sure you're looking for the fans to come out for us next week, stay behind the team, uh, and back them all the way. Yeah, you know, they've been, they've been brilliant for us. It's, yeah, we probably don't deserve it at the moment, the amount of the fans that have come out and um, the positive attitude towards us from them um, after a couple of shaky performances probably is a bit unexpected because, you know, They've been great, and the, the, like I say, they've been clapping today. So probably when we did deserve to be clapped at all. So, you know, we just got to hope that we can produce next week. Uh, we'll work hard again, and uh, hopefully get a decent crowd against the, against the, another good team and another dangerous team. Thanks, mate.